Hey there everybody, welcome back to my channel, I'm Kaylin, your girlfriend, and in tonight's video we're going to be doing another Bookie Babe book review, and this one is super exciting. One, it was my first library book um, since getting our local library cards, so that was super exciting. Um, I don't think people talk about the um, beauty of a resource that is your public library. You can check out movies and books and media and use computers and um, use the internet and get a whole bunch of different community event types of flyers and brochures and things all for free. Um, and it's such an amazing resource, kids books, everything like, and it's a great spot just to go and like, um, you know, go, it's a quiet space to work or, um, you know, work on a project or whatever. I used to love going to the public library as a kid. I did summer reading programs and would like love to get all the little prizes and things. Um, and going to the library was like a weekly occurrence for us growing up. And now that we have our library cards, we are like kids again. So that's just my little spiel about the library. Make sure you use your local libraries. Um, and this book that I'm going to review was my very first library book. And this was another book club book. Um, and I don't have the cover to show you because I returned it the day that I finished it. Um, and But it is called A Flicker in the Dark by Stacey Willingham. Um, I'm going to go ahead and kill the suspense for you guys. I gave this book a 4 out of 5 um, on Goodreads. And in Storygraph, I gave it a 4.5 out of 5. And um, really the only thing that I didn't like about it was um, it kind of jumped around a lot in terms of the events and like retelling of her history. So um, the whole um, story is told from the perspective of Chloe, who is a clinical psychologist. And she, I mean, the you know, front insert will tell you that her dad was arrested for being a serial killer when she was either nine or ten years old. And so that framed her um, life and she chose to make it a profession. And so her whole life has been about kind of escaping her dad's notoriety, building her own name for herself. And um, unfortunately, things come back to bite her um, 25, 30 years later. So now she's this established psychologist, has her own practice, but there is a straight, a chain of more young girls going missing, but her dad is in prison. So it's like, who could it be? So it's a who done it kind of mystery suspense. Chloe's right in the middle of it because they keep, she keeps accidentally putting herself into the line of investigations. And so the police question her on numerous occasions and she has to kind of defend herself, <coughs> but she's also trying to get to the truth as well. Um, Overall, it was a fast-paced read. I read it in just a few days once I got into it. But like I said, the only thing that really um, kind of put me off from giving it that five was that, you know, a chapter would start with a flashback and then we would, like, jump right back into the present as if. And now, like, after reading, I know why they did that. It was kind of to show that Chloe was, like, paralyzed by these memories that were flooding her in these current situations. But it just, like, it just jumped around a lot. And maybe that's the point. Maybe it's supposed to be this chaotic um, kind of look into her mind on a day-to-day -day basis. But it also, um, she dabbles, the author dabbles and kind of borders the line of Chloe, like, handling her we'll say issues lightly well and then also like does she have an addiction to anxiety medication and can she truly live without it the question is up in the air so she kind of tiptoes on this line of um addiction um and substance abuse so there's that going for it as well um this is an adult novel, so there were some sex scenes, sexual theming, um, and it does have a big twist in the end. The back cover, one of the catch lines was, um, you truly can't trust anyone, and this is true. 
I, when I read Thriller Suspense, I like to, of course, try and figure out who it was. And I thought that I really had this one figured out, and then I didn't. And I was kind of disappointed in that, but nevertheless, I feel like the ending was... I wanted a little bit more out of the ending for Chloe, I did. Um, so I was a little bit disappointed in the ending overall. But I think that it is very intriguing if you like thriller suspense... This is a good one, and it's this author's, ver it's her debut novel, which for a debut novel is very well done. So to get four and a half stars on a debut novel, that's pretty good. Um, so keep that in mind <coughs> when you go and pick this one up. This book was book number 12 for my 2024 book challenge, which if you're new here is to read 24 books in the year of 2024. So we are officially halfway through and I am so stoked about it. That means it's time for another nonfiction novel so or nonfiction work. So stay tuned for that and stay tuned in this channel for all the rest of the book reviews coming. And very soon I will be uploading um, a total compilation video of every book that I've ever rated five stars and like, I rated it five stars when I read it. Where does that hold up now? Um, and, yeah, so stay tuned for that. And thank you all so much for watching this video. And, as always, you can hit that red button and give me a thumbs up if you like it. See you guys next time.